Hey, how's it going guys? It's Crafty Fox of Minecraft Military Force, and today we are making the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey. So this is a military transport aircraft, and it's a tilt rotor, so it uses these rotors on sides, and uh, this is built by Asgudindare, I hope I'm saying that right. I believe he's a French builder, and uh, he's from uh, the Minecraft Military Discord, and he wanted to build an aircraft for um, MC Military Force, so that is very good since we needed a V-22 and right over here we have the other version where the tilt rotors actually tilts towards the front and this is like in flight mode I believe this one is faster and maybe this one's slower so this is uses a V stall which is vertical short takeoff and landing and it's used by the US Marine Corps the Air Force and the United States Navy and yeah let's get started on the build so I'm gonna be building this one and by the way, there's like MV-22, and I believe this this is what it's supposed to be. Um, there's like other variants, but I don't believe they're like that much different. So first thing you want to do, you want to place a light gray wood block, two blocks above the ground, two blocks wide, and 15 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and same thing on the other side, all the way across, like so. Then we're going to work a bit on the bottom. So we're going to add a block temporarily um, on the right hand side. And we're going to place um, a skeleton skull in front of it with a dark oak wood fence gate behind it opened up like that. And behind that we're going to add the front wheel. So we're going to add two withered skeleton skulls like this. Behind that we're going to add uh, two stone slabs. And behind that two iron trap doors like this all right so once you have that down we're gonna go in the front let's add a two by uh, two of light gray wool like this and then we're gonna take a stone slab let's add four slabs in the front in the middle like that all right then we're gonna go to the side and we're gonna add a stone brick stairs facing outwards with a stone slab underneath it and behind that stone slab, we're going to add a three stone brick stairs, but the third one is going to curve towards the front, like so. And we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side, so add stone brick stairs, stone slab underneath, and then three stairs with the last one curved towards the front, like so. Alright, so once you do that, we're going to take out a um, light gray wool block, let's add it to the side of this, like that. And let's make it go all the way to the back. Uh, actually, you know, like leave a gap of space between that. Just one block away from the edge. That, that'll be fine. Alright, so once we do that, uh, let's add in another layer. Going all the way across on top. And I don't know, should we just have this? Yeah, we'll just have it on top for now. Maybe later I'm going to add some more. Same thing on the other side. Then we're going to go to the front. Let's add in um, two um, dark oak wood fence gates right here. Bam. With an end rod sticking out at the very tip of it. Then we're going to take skeleton skulls, add it in front of the stonework stairs, both sides. And put the wrong block here. Oops. Like that. All right, for the cockpit itself, we're going to add some black stained glass blocks. Let's add a 2x2, two two, skip one uh, wool block in the front. 2x2, two two, black stained glass block. And then we're going to take um, glass panes. Let's add two on each side like this. Then we're going to have an iron trap door on the very top of it, like this in the front. Two blocks. Behind that, we're going to take stone slab. Let's add a 2 by 3. Three blocks long, two blocks wide. And the back, let's make it stick out so it's four blocks wide. And let's add a wither, I mean, another brick um, slab in front with a black carpet in front of that. Same thing on the other side. Like so. Then we're going to add in uh, stone buns, two blocks in the front of the cockpit like that. Then we're going to add in, um, let's add in the sides, so 
we're gonna take um, like gray wall block. Let's add one on this side, one after the glass pane, and then an upside down stomach stairs facing the back. Then we'd go on the other side. It's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna add three like gray wall blocks and a stomach stairs facing the front, like so. And then four like gray wall blocks. One, two, three, four. Stomach stairs facing the back, upside down. And then we're gonna add three light gray wool blocks. One, two, three. And let's add a uh, cyan terracotta. Bam. And then two light gray wool blocks, like so. All right, so the other side's gonna be a little bit different. Um, but you see where this cyan terracotta is? Just repeat the same thing on the other side. That's gonna line up same place let's place uh, like gray wool in front or in the back of it and in front of it we're gonna have three like gray wool blocks one two three with an upside down stomach stairs so actually this window lines up well and the middle in between these two windows we're gonna fill that in with like gray wool blocks all the way across and then in the back uh, let's see what how this is actually it's a little bit different made a mistake. I need to like delete this one block. So I delete this extra light gray wool block like that. And instead we could have two light gray wool blocks diagonally inwards like this. Then um, on the very top of it we could have, and we're going to make it a, actually a two by two. All right, then we're going to go um, down below. And let's add some stone slabs. So uh, right over here, two stone slabs like this. Like gray wool block after it. Let's add some more stone brick slabs. So I guess this side over here. And in front of that, we're going to add two light gray wool blocks like this. Same thing on the other side. And just fill in this hole here. Same thing on the other side. Fill in that hole. And next layer, stone brick slab, or stone slab, I mean, like that. Across, and we can make this two blocks wide, like so. All right, once we got that down, we're gonna have a light gray um, glass pane in this corner, both sides. And then we're gonna add stone slabs on top. Let's add two by four, four blocks long. And at the front, we're going to make that four blocks wide, stone slab. And let's add a lever on top of this gray wall, face it towards the back. And in the front of that, we're going to add a two by three light gray wall in the middle. The sides, we're going to have uh, stone brick stairs facing inwards. This stone slab in the front of that. And in front of that, we're going to have uh, two light gray walls like that. Then in the middle of that, we're going to have a stone slab two blocks wide. And we're going to make it six blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to skip one block away from the edge and let's add four in the middle, both sides. All right, once we do that, we could add a two by two in the middle of that, like so, both sides. And then we're gonna add um, stone brick stairs in the front of this, or after this stone slab on the sides. In the middle, we're gonna add a light gray wall, like this. And behind, let's add a light gray wall as well. Like that. And you know what? We can just fill in this whole top layer as well. Alright, so once we do that, let's add in the bottom landing gear. So let's go to the side here. And then we're going to add a stone slab here. We're going to add like gray uh, wall block. Uh, let's make it two blocks long. Actually, one block long. Then we're going to place a sand terracotta here. Then we're going to have a stone slab in the side of that and then we'd have three uh, light gray wool blocks 
and then an upside down stone brick stairs and like gray wall block and then um, stone bricks or stone slab like that all right so yeah basically I think it's the same thing on both sides yes it is so let's do the same thing on the other side stone slab and then light gray wall sand terracotta stone slab um, on the outer edge of that sand terracotta then three light gray walls upside down stone brick stairs light gray wall again all right cool and let's go back to the other side and then we need to add a two by five starting from the back um, where the light gray wall is let's add two by five stone slabs towards the front and then we're going to add an extra two stone slabs in the front in the middle same thing on the other side two by five and two in the middle like so now let's add in the wheel so that's going to be black stain or not black stain it's just black wool with a stone button so I'm going to have that underneath that upside down stairs stone button like that both sides alright so once we do that let's add a sign I don't know if I have a sign so I'm going to grab it and let's place a sign uh, sticking out of that stairs there's also signs in the front of the cockpit or in the back of the cockpit um, they're going to be right here just two signs per side like this all right cool so we're gonna go right under here right after this stone brick stairs we'd have a lever face it towards the back same thing on the other side and then also there's like this iron trap doors um, we didn't actually make this area yet so uh, let's add it like this right adjacent to that wheel and let's make it four blocks long and there's going to be two blocks in front like that same thing on the other side sorry I have to like big holes around this so just four blocks long the other side two blocks there and now we can uh, fill in that hole with um, light gray wool blocks all the way across like that and you can fill this in as well same thing on the other side just try to fill that all in light gray wool block all the way across towards the back all right cool and we can also add in a stone slab on the side apparently I forgot it on that side all right, then we're going to add two light gray walls blocks like that. So it's three blocks long. Let's add a stone button in the back of that. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to add a stone button right behind the stairs and right behind this glass pane. Let's add a dark oak wood button right behind that stone button and another one down diagonally. All right, the other side. Um, sad stone button right behind this glass pane and another one a dark oak wood button right above that stone slab and there is another stone button kind of like diagonally uh, back but you go back one more block all right in the back we're gonna add two stone slabs like this and let's add a two by two of light gray wool on top Let's add two uh, stone brick stairs right behind it. And on the sides, we're going to add a two by three stone slabs like this. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to add a stone brick stairs like this on the side. Then we're going to add cyan terracotta right behind that stairs. And then we're going to add a um, light gray wool block and have it surrounding um that cyan terracotta like this sort of like this weird c shape same thing on the other side just around it 
all right so in the back we're gonna add one light gray wall like that same thing on the other side with a stone brick stairs in front of that the bottom we're gonna have two stone slabs and then an iron trap door in the front same thing on the other side like that and we're also going to add in a dark oak wood um, button on the side of this diagonally back of this uh, cyan terracotta same thing on the other side and then we're going to take out our iron trap doors and let's add in um, a little wall here in the back all the way across and let's place in light gray wool carpet on top of that iron trap door all the way across like so. And let me check if there's anything else here. Nope. Looks like we're good. Alright, so now we're going to take stone slab and go right under here. Let's add 2 by 3 sticking out like that. 2 by 3 same thing on the other side. And then the back we're going to add uh, 2 stone slabs like this. Same thing on the other side. And then in the front, I'm going to add another stone slab like that. Alright, so from this point on, I'm just going to be making uh, one wing. So it's going to be the same thing on both sides. And this is because, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. And I'm just going to save more time doing this. So just make one wing and then just mirror it on the other side. Alright, so we're just going to be making this wing right here. So first, we're going to take nether brick slab. Let's add three slabs across in the front. Go in the back, let's add stone slab, adding another one here, and then another stone slab here, making it three blocks long. Let's add another two stone slabs like that. And underneath it, let's add uh, two more stone slabs like that in the middle. And we're going to take upside down uh, another brick stairs, have it right here in the front, and another one facing outwards, so it's a little curved. Alright, next we're going to add a 2x2 two two stone slab here. And then um, on the side right here, let's add some more stone slabs. So it's like that. And let's add um, right side up stone brick stairs and upside down stone brick stairs like that. And then we're going to take two nether brick slabs here. And another nether brick slab goes up. Let's add an iron trap door underneath it. And add a Minecraft sign to the side of this nether brick slab, like so. Alright, then we're going to add a 2x3 of light gray wool blocks, like this. And then towards the back, we're going to have another light gray wool block here. Let's add a stone brick slab in the front of that. Right above this uh, light gray wool block, we're going to add a cauldron. Which is pretty weird for a Minecraft build, but yeah, we're adding a cauldron with another brick slab on top. Uh, then we would go down below and let's add a stone bun right here. And let's go right over here. Let's add a stone bun underneath that stairs. And another stone button, I believe, in the back right here. Then we're going to add a light gray banner in the back and another light gray banner right here. So underneath we would have uh, we're going to have to skip a block and add a uh, stone slab towards the back. So like that. So we have that little air gap. And in the front of that stone slab, we're going to add an uh, iron trap door. On top, we're going to add two anvils like this. And let's add a dark oak wood trap door. Let's have it in the front. And close it up like so. And let me check if I did anything else. Nope. There's... All right, then we're going to go diagonally outwards, um, right over here. Let's add upside down another brick stairs to face the front. And diagonally outwards, right over here, let's have this one facing towards the inner part. And behind it, we could have two upside down um, another brick stairs, like that. Then we're going to have two another brick stairs, or another brick slabs, I mean. And then, I believe, two uh, dark oak wood trap doors, and then an iron trap door. Alright, so in the front, we're going to add go diagonally outwards. Let's add two nether brick slabs, like that. And I believe it's the same thing on the other side as well. So let's do that. And then we go diagonally outwards, add a dark oak wood trap door, diagonally outwards, 
two dark oak wood trap doors. Same thing on the other side. And then we go dangling outwards again. Let's add an iron trap door at the tip. So the tip is white. So we're going to take out carpet and cover it up. So we're going to take a white carpet, add it to the tips of all these propellers like this. And then there also is like a gray carpet. So let me grab that as well. And we're going to have that, well, skip one block from the back. Let's add gray carpet right here. While the ones in the front, we're going to skip two blocks, add gray carpet. Then the rest of the propellers, we're going to fill that in with black carpet all the way across like so. Fill in the rest. So all you have to do after this step, you just copy the same wing on the other side and you'll be pretty much set for the V-22 Osprey. Now I'm going to be teaching you how to make it in the other flight mode. So where the propellers are facing the front. So let's go back over here. Let's delete all this propeller stuff. Delete, 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 delete. And we're also going to delete um, this like whole side of the engine, I guess. I don't know what to exactly call it. So we're left with this. Now I'm going to be, so first thing you want to do, you want to take a light gray wool block. Let's add a two by three. You can delete that sign like that. And the front, we're going to add an extra light gray wool block in the front with a stone brick slab underneath it. And then in the back, we're going to go down here. Let's add a dark oak wood trap door. And we're going to place two anvils on top. Now, if you're curious on, if you don't know why it's not like opening up the anvil, if you have this problem, just crouch when you're doing it. I am crouching in midair, by the way. And then we're going to add um, light gray banners on the side of the anvils. In the back, we could have a cobblestone wall above, or actually right after the top anvil. On top, we could add an iron trap door. And then we're going to add stone buttons to the sides. So we add two of them dangling like that. Another one on top. Then we're going to go to the front. Let's add a gray concrete block with a wither skeleton skull in front. And on top, we're going to add a black concrete block with a gray concrete on top. And then three more black concretes and a quartz block like that. Then for the bottom diagonals, we could have dangling outwards, black concrete. And then dangling again, black concrete again with a gray concrete next to it. Dangling down, black concrete. Dangling down, two black concretes. Then dangling down, a uh, white which is quartz. Same thing on the other side. So add black concrete dangling. Dangling two black concretes. And then dangling a uh, quartz block. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build both versions of the V22 Osprey in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And thanks to Asgur Darren for designing this build. If you guys like this video, remember to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.